Hi there and welcome to episode 5 of our Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. Just decided to start recording now because I'm full and I've just done a shed load of, um, uh, of caving and I have loads of stuff that I need to drop off. Uh, too much stuff actually. I need a new chest. I need a new chest. I have a chest in here I think. Let's grab that. And yeah, so I've got far too much stuff at the moment, so I need to drop all this stuff off. Gravel, uh, cobble, 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 cobble. And I have managed to get loads and loads and loads and loads of really nice items. Oh, I've been full on flint as well. And a golden helmet and let's get some more torches because I ran out of torches. It was one of the main reasons I came back. And we need those chests, so let's go over here, shove a couple of chests down, and what I might do actually, since I've got so much coal, let's just get all of this coal and shove it all in here. So we can have one coal for, one chest for coal and one chest for everything else. And let's, nope, want that coal? Nope. <laughs> How many times do I have to do it? Right, so what we're going to do today is I really need to start using some of this stuff up. Um, for that, I need... I've got 45 diamonds now. That's quite cool. Uh, for that, I need to make myself a furnace center or like a kind of a smelting pit or something. But I have a really good design. I've got a really cool design in mind, but it needs comparators to actually distribute the workload. Um, and for comparators, I need... Uh, I need nether, what's it called, from the nether, quartz. So I can't actually do that at the moment. But uh, I think, so what I'm going to do today is go off to the nether, mine some quartz, and then come back and, yeah, we'll have to see about actually doing some building of a uh, furnace centre. That should be enough torches. Um... And I've used up a whole set of iron, a uh, set of armor already. And I got a golden helmet from a random zombie. Um, so what have I actually got now? I need some more iron pickaxes. So let's go and build some of those. In fact, you know what? It's about time I built some diamond stuff, wasn't it? Let's go and build a diamond pickaxe. Yeah, first diamond pickaxe. Only going to get one of those. And a diamond shovel as well. Because I have 56 levels at the moment. Um, I'm not going to build anything more with diamonds. Uh, maybe a sword. Let's build a diamond sword. So I've got 56 levels at the moment. But I can't do anything with those until I've actually got some sort of enchanting table or something like that. Um, so we've got a diamond pickaxe. I'm going to make some iron pickaxes as well. Actually. I'm getting used to this whole uh, building thing with the... Recipes. Let's make three iron pickaxes. Take those with us. We're going to need a flint for flint and steel. We won't need that yet. One, two, three. And grab all that stuff. Go back over here. Drop it all off. Actually, nothing there. Although, what I will do, let's drop off that iron sword. Take that diamond sword with us. And shove those sticks back in there. We won't need them. Shove this iron back in here. We won't need that. And a couple of stacks of torches. We won't need them either. Uh, we'll take those torches. We've got two stacks left in there. Uh, diamond shovel. Oh, I've only got one shovel with us. Must have just run out of a shovel. So let's take that diamond shovel with us. Let's put that axe away because we don't need an axe at all. Let's put that axe away as well. And what else do we need to take with us? So we've got a bow. We've got a fair few torches. Could probably do with some more wood, actually. Uh, one of the reasons I need a diamond pickaxe is to actually mine some obsidian. When I say wood, I mean food. I've got loads of food. Let's grab some of that. Shove the rest back in there. So I have a good place in mind for the obsidian. There's a lava pool over there. I need to go and get my bucket. I can has bucket. And where is my bucket? I think it's in here. There it is. If I grab some water from over here and take this with me jump then I think the lava pool's just up here 
I should be able to do something quite funky. There we go. Let's get lots of obsidian. Oops. It sounds like there's still... Nope, it's all gone. I thought it sounded like there was still some stuff in there, but let's be careful with it. So I'm just going to mine a, a I I don't know, a little bit. I'll, I'll mine all this obsidian and I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so I've mined up a fair amount of obsidian. Didn't do the whole thing because it was just taking forever. Uh, I need a flint and steel. There we go. And I've also carved out a small entrance on the side of this mountain to create my nether portal. So let's just go ahead and do this. With 1.7.2 you can actually do odd shapes with it as well. So make a big area like that. 3x3 three three portal. Oh, listen to that sound. Right, time to venture into the nether. Do we have everything we need? We've got Red, we've got torches, we've got swords and sh stuff. So, yeah, let's go. Let's see what we end up with. Downloading terrain. Right, where are we? Oh, lava. Come on, download more terrain faster. Wow, that lava is going for miles. What I probably should have done is brought with me a. Um, a stack of dirt or something, just so that I have something to surround myself with. Right, so there's quite a lot of pigment over there. Um, we've ended up in quite a barren looking area, actually. Let's just go up here and... Oh, is that an arch? There's some arches over there, that means there's uh, some sort of nether fortress. I can see some quartz ore down there. Well, I think that's quartz ore. It might be, yeah, no, that's quartz ore. Um, what I'm going to do is, let's get a few of these, bit of nether rack on the go, uh, just in case we need to do something with it, just in case we need to kind of wall ourselves in or something like that. That looks like a funky little area over there. Um, but yeah, we're here just for quartz ore at the moment, so let's get a little bit more nether rack though. I don't think the zombie pigmen are going to do anything to me. No, even the little baby zombie pigmen. They're just going to lead me to it, to be honest. So, oh, there's some. Here's some quartz ore. It's a bit dangerous, though. Now let's create ourselves a little walkway here. And we've already lost, nearly lost a piece. There we go. Now, I'm, I only need four quartz ore, because I only intend to build four comparators. That was an odd noise. I think that might be a ghast. It is a ghast. I don't know where he is, though. So let's just... Where are you, ghast? I don't know. Right, I've got enough quartz ore to do my comparators now. I might just have a very quick look around, see if there's any more. Let's go and get that stuff that's down there, and then we'll go back. Grab all the quartz ore. And this stuff over here. I really don't want to meet a ghast at the moment. I'm not that advanced yet. Oh, hello. Loads of quartz ore. So I'm just going to mine a little bit of quartz ore here. Um, not too much. And then I will see you back at base shortly. So what I've just found is a rather large fortress there. I don't know whether that's connected to the, because the arches are over there. My portal is just over there in the distance if you can see it. Um, these arches are here and there's already a blaze up there. And it looks like there's this huge fortress complex over here. So I'm going to have to come back at some point and do some serious exploration. But I mean, I've got 44 nether quartz now. That's more than enough for me to do the project I want to do. So I'm going to run back because I've already been shot at by a ghast. There's another ghast. So let's go back. Oh, look, he's shooting me again. Port! Run away! Right. And let's 
get some netherrack out and let's just bar that up just like that and you know what I'm going to make this a little bit prettier by getting some stone which I've already got and just shoving this around here just kind of make it look a little bit better there like that I'm trying to do I'm double tapping to jump to, to fly that's not gonna work is it let's get some dirt as well so let's, let's disguise that a little bit better so that was a rather oh god look how much food I need to eat that was a rather successful trip to the nether I got exactly what I came for which is some nether quartz and I can make a start on my new project okay so this may look in a little bit of an odd place to start with um, but like I say I've got a plan and hopefully it'll work out for the best um, so it starts with putting all the furnaces here and what I'm actually going to do to get started is I'm going to put all the flooring in and put a frame around this so I know exactly where I'm going to be building because uh, at the moment I keep having to look back on notes <laughs> so if you all bear with me I'll be right back okay so here is the outline of our new furnace area it's pretty big actually it's a lot bigger than I thought it was uh, I've only created this in a creative mode so far so the task is a little bit daunting for me I don't really know where to start but I've put the furnaces up to start with and uh, what I'm going to do first of all is we're going to need so much iron for all the hoppers I'm going to come back down here I'm going to grab a load of iron. I've already got a load of iron smelting here. I'm going to grab a load of coal, grab a load of iron. Two, three, four. Oh, oh no, I'm full. I'm full. Quick, drop stuff off. Right, let's get rid of some of the... I'm not getting cobble. Get rid of some of this dirt. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Get rid of that gravel. Get rid of that cobble there. And get rid of that dirt there. And let's go back over here. Into this chest, get rid of that iron. Uh, we will be needing bricks soon. We'll be needing some smooth stone soon as well to build the uh, repeaters and that sort of thing. So what do we need? We've got four that'll do for coal. So let's get eight stacks of iron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. That should do us, I think. Eight stacks of iron. Should be enough to actually build all of the um, all of the furnaces all of the hoppers and stuff that we need so let's just go and put 32 coal in there and iron 32 coal in there and iron 32 coal in there iron coal iron 32 coal iron 32 coal iron nearly there okay so that should give me eight stacks uh, so the first thing I want to do is start building some hoppers Okay, so my first step is to put some hoppers down here underneath the furnaces so that all of the output of those furnaces gets dumped into a chest at the end here. All pretty simple so far. The second step involves putting stuff into the tops of these chests. So to do that, there are two things we need to do. First of all, we need a row of hoppers that just dump stuff into the chests. And secondly, we need another row of hoppers on top of that that will kind of go along there. And they need to come out there, so I need to start at this end, don't I? And what I want is that I want a chest that's kind of directly above this one. So let's just grab some... I can't put anything above this chest or else I won't be able to open it. Let's go and grab some dirt so I can play with things. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to do. So I now need to just put a chest at the top here. Like that. 
And the idea of this chest is that it will, you put the input into there, so the raw materials that you want to smelt, shove them in there and they'll go along and be distributed along these evenly. I think I, yeah, there we go. I think I may have put some random bits of dirt in these. Oh, just the one. Cool. Okay. There's one thing that's uh, very tricky about working with these is if you have some kind of stuff to make your... Uh, some like structure, some scaffolding with dirt, and then you take it down, it'll go into the hoppers. So that is that done, and I'm all out of hoppers now, so if I look in here, there you go. So this is working perfectly already, this first step. Um, it's literally just smelting the iron, iron's dropping down, it's smelting the ore, iron's dropping down, coming all the way back into this chest here. So I've got a load of stacks of iron ore now, so I'm going to go and make some more hoppers. So I'm going to need, in fact... That's enough hoppers for this section now, so what I'm going to do is start building this up and I need to build the contraption in for the even distribution of these hoppers here. So I will be right back with some redstone. Okay, so I built myself four redstone repeaters, four comparators, I've got some redstone, I've got seven redstone torches, I may need more than that. Um, but the idea behind this kind of even distribution thing is that uh, I need some more scaffolding, so I'm not thinking this through. Uh, let's just put a little bit of a wall up here. Go away. Is that once the um, redstone current reaches a comparator, which I will put here. then that will power a block and then that block needs to go to um, basically to signal let me find my torch needs to signal a load of stuff that goes down here so I need that torch to go onto some redstone there and then back up to power all of those so where's my redstone gone? in there Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that, when that switches off, essentially, then these will drop down. I think that's right. I'm probably wrong. I need to remind myself of the actual contraption again. Um, but yeah, that's that for now. Now the only other thing is to uh, to make sure that it's evenly distributed. Obviously, you've got to. So this will work as long as that that chest has stuff in it. Now when that chest empties, you miss out on some of this redstone signal, because it just it, it empties too fast. I'm not explaining myself very well, am I? Um, but either way, what I need to do is take a current from this... Oh, I fell off. Take a current from this chest and switch off that torch at the end as well. So that comes in two steps. And let me go and do that now. Okay, so here we are. We have messed up with this entrance a little bit, so I'm going to have to create a new entrance here, um, which is fine. But what we have is, let's go through this first before I sort that up. Uh, essentially, we've got the redstone current underneath here, which will remain off until such a time that there is an item in this here um, hopper, at which point it will pulse on and off to drop everything down into the hopper below and on the other side of things we also have a current that comes out of this chest that will um, and we've got an AND gate here so when this current goes off essentially it will switch this current off and make sure that this pulses once as well and it will then pulse again when the chest is completely empty and it'll go through and pulse again just essentially to make sure that everything drops down in case you have, say, an uneven number of um, items in the chest. So what we'll do now is if I go down here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it. And to do that, let's take all the coal out for now. And I will essentially just put in a stack of um, a full stack of iron ore and it should distribute a full stack evenly between the eight furnaces and put eight items of iron ore in each furnace. Now where's my iron ore gone? 
There it is. I still have a full stack. That's good. So let's go back over here with the full stack of iron ore. Thought I'd need to eat something then. And if I go up here into this chest, put the full stack of iron ore in, it all starts draining there. And let's go over. I saw a pulse there as well from the comparator. So we can see that this is on and then it'll pulse off. Yeah, that's it. So when it's on, nothing goes down, but then when something reaches the end, it pulses to go off again. So this will happen eight times, and then there'll be a very quick pulse at the end to drop everything down once it's done. So I think that's six. Oh, there we go. That's eight now. So if I drop back down here, eight there, eight there, eight, 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 eight. Eight and eight. Fantastic. And nothing should be stuck in any of these hoppers unless I've accidentally dropped a redstone torch in them or anything like that. So that is perfect. That's working absolutely perfectly. So let's just uh, go and go through that one more time. So what happens is you put items in the chest and because there, when there are items in the chest there will be a redstone signal here. That's it. I was explaining it completely wrong earlier. So when there are items in the chest, there will be a redstone signal here. Because that will switch off this AND gate, which will turn this block here to switch that redstone torch on. And there will be a signal all across there. Now, any time that the end hopper here gets items, the comparator at the end here will power this block, which will switch this torch on and do a quick pulse and once that's pulsed then every single one of those hoppers all eight of those hoppers will drop down into the hoppers below and drop then into the furnaces below them so it's a little bit of a complicated design especially for me because i'm very bad at redstone um but yeah it all works perfectly well so if i go and get some more uh, I'm going to need to power all these, put put coal in all these again. Uh, but the next step is to do exactly the same thing again, uh, but for the fuel. And for the fuel, we need to put the hoppers going into the backs of each one of these furnaces. So I will be back shortly with a load more hoppers. Before I do that, actually, I will load this up with some iron ore. Let's go and get eight stacks of iron ore, or as many stacks as we can of iron ore, and uh, just make sure that it all works perfectly well. So what we should see when I get all of my iron ore on the go, where is it all? So that's all stuff. So we've got a stack there, we've got a stack there. We've actually got no more iron ore, but we've got gold, so we can put a stack there, gold, um, two stacks of gold. And what else can we do? Should we do a stack of cobble as well? Let's do a couple of stacks of cobble. So what we'll do, what we'll see, is when I put all this stuff in here, and how much have we got in the output, we've got plenty of room in the output for all of this. What I'll see when I put all, a stack in there is every single one of these furnaces should light up at exactly the same time. So stack of iron ore goes in, we wait about three seconds, and there we go. All of the furnaces light up at exactly the same time. And I've put 64 coal in each one of those, and you can see the iron ore in each one is now increasing. So let's shove more iron ore in. Um, there's only two stacks of iron ore, wasn't there? So then two stacks of gold, two stacks of cobble. May as well. And uh, eventually we'll get loads and loads of iron ore. See, so it's, it's, it's just basically coming in in a very even flow now. And everything is distributed beautifully. Um, once all this is done, oh, I need to eat something. Once all this is done, we should come back and see that exactly the same amount of coal has been used from each one of these, um, which will be really cool. So it's it's quite efficient in that sense as well. So what I need to do now is, like I said before, go ahead and build some more hoppers. So I need more chests. I'm not actually sure how many hoppers I'm going to need for this. I've built 40 for now. I'll probably... How many is that? That's like five per row, isn't it? That should be enough. So I need to do one for each one of these. Going into the back. And then I basically need to come down a little bit further out. So I was looking at ways to save space with this uh, AND gate. And I managed to bring my hoppers down here in for the for the coal entry, for the fuel entry, 
in by three or four blocks by just sw switching this AND gate down um, here. Now the reason, I didn't mention this before, but the reason I need an AND gate is because I need a delay on the AND gate switching on again. So the, there's a delay on one side and no delay on the other side, so it switches off immediately when you put items in the chest, but when the chest is empty, it takes two, um, two repeaters full of four ticks to actually switch back on again. So that's the reason that's there. Now, back onto this. I did get away with just slightly less than these uh, the 40 hoppers. So I got away with just 34 hoppers. Oh god, I need to eat something. Why do I always forget that? I'm so used to working in creative. Um, that we now have these hoppers going down here. Now, what they do is there's three hoppers here that feed directly into the backs of each one of these furnaces. And then there's these hoppers that go straight along here, and it's exactly the same as before. At the end of the hoppers, there's a comparator that goes into a block that powers this redstone torch, which then goes back up and powers all of those hoppers. So the next step we need to do is just to hook this chest up to an AND gate that then switches that off at the far end once again. Um, so it's going to be a little bit easy now. I don't need to save space on this, so it's going to be the same AND gate that I used before. And the comparator, excuse me, the comparator is going to go here for that. And then my bricks are going to go here. And there's going to be a torch on... Oh no, I've only got one redstone torch left. Tragedy. Okay, I've got a load of redstone torches now. I've got 11. I'm sure that'll be enough. I think I only need like one or two more. So I'll come back over here. I might need three more. And we'll put a torch on there, put a torch on there, and then we need to make our AND gate again. So it's going to be stone bricks, drop down. So we're going to have a bit there, we're going to need some there, we're going to need to come out of here, go that way. And then from here, we will need to double up like that, and then come straight out of here. And we need to get back around to this. So the easiest way to do that is probably probably just to go up a little bit and then like that. Let's make it a little bit tidier. And put the bricks there. And the only thing I need to double check is that the redstone actually reaches. And if the redstone reaches, then we're good to go. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. Yes, that reaches. Perfect. So let's just go and put the redstone there, redstone there, redstone there. Torch, torch. There's a torch there already. And where are my repeaters? Two repeaters. One there, one there. Whoops. Like that. Both set to four ticks. And double check everything's done. I think it is. Yeah, can't see any problems with that. Looking good. So let's give that a little bit of a test. So how many have we got at the moment? 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, 58, and 58. And if I look in this chest here, loads of stuff all smelted. So that's fantastic. Two, three, four, five, right, what am I doing? Six, seven, eight. Oh, so we'll get eight coal. Open this chest up. Shove those eight in there, and then these should all get to 59. And give it a couple of seconds for the hoppers to go through. All right, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, and 59. Fantastic. So if I put in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so that's 16. So everything should go to 61. And let's go around and see everything blink one off on again. There's a blink there, and it's gone off. So I can only assume that everything's gone up to 61 now. 61, 61, whoops, 61, 61, 61, 61, 61, and 61. Fantastic, so that is my contraption all done. So input goes in there, fuel goes in there. Everything is distributed 100% evenly. I've seen a couple of designs like this on YouTube before, but they, um, the one that I loosely based this on um, they basically had this uneven spread and so you ended up with maybe that's a 63 and everything else would be um, 
61, except for this one would be 60 or something like that. Uh, so it's all 100% even, 100% fair, and it's all thanks to that like delayed AND gate at the top there. So I'm going to go away now, tidy this up a little bit, make it into a, a nice looking building, and uh, we should be done. Well, we can't quite finish off the construction at this time because I've run out of stone bricks, so I need to go and smelt a load of cobblestone and build a load of stone bricks, but we've got so much iron now, I don't know what to do with it. Um, but in terms of this build, I think I'm going to call this episode to a close because it is all working absolutely phenomenally well. Now, uh, the other thing I should mention as well is if you put in, say I put in this 40 now, obviously there's only 3 times 8, that's 24's worth of coal left to go in there. But this 40 would go in and be distributed and the other two that are remaining for each furnace would just sit in the uh, in the hoppers behind. So you can go ahead and put as much coal as you want. You can fill that chest up until it's absolutely full to the brim. And then every single time a piece of coal gets used, one coal will go into each one of these, one coal will go into each one of the back uh, hoppers and it will still all be 100% evenly distributed. Obviously, I don't actually have that much coal on me, but uh, I've checked in. Um, I've checked in the creative world, and it definitely distributes everything 100% evenly. So it's all really good. The same goes for input as well. So if I put in, you know, 10,000 iron ore into there, it'll all just queue up, and you've got one, two, three, four. You've got five stacks of iron ore per furnace here essentially to go in and it'll all just stack up in those and then it'll stack up in all of these and you'll be you know you'll be good to go it'll be absolutely perfect um so yeah i think i'll bring the episode to a close there um that's one construction pretty much done i need to finish off this building and put some torches on it to make sure no nasties ever spawn in here i wouldn't want any creepers to spawn in here god no be a complete mess but uh, I'll say thank you very much for watching until next time bye bye now